What's up everyone? So in today's video we're going to be talking about Henkaku Enso for the PlayStation Vita and PlayStation TV. Since I've been away for a few months I am playing a bit of catch up and I'm pretty late to get this episode uploaded, but it's as good a place as any to start because Henkaku Enso was a long time in the making and it really makes running homebrew on the Vita a much simpler, smoother process. So for those of you that don't know, Hinkagu Enso is basically a major step in giving our Vitas a permanent custom firmware solution. So if you're familiar with Hinkaku, basically it needs to be run once every time you power on the system. But after installing Hinkaku Enso, it puts your system in a state where it's gonna automatically run the Hinkaku exploit each time your system powers on. So that means that as soon as you power on your system, you're able to then run backup games and install and run VPK files, etc. So it definitely adds some great functionality to the Vita, and if you have firmware 3.60, there's no reason not to install Henkaku Enso. So without further ado, let's look at how to install it. So on your Vita device, the first thing you'll need to do is go ahead and run Henkaku. So I'll just go ahead and use the offline installer here. So with Hinkaku running, just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. When you have Vita Shell open, push select to put your device into either USB mode or FTP mode. Since I'm on my PSTV, I'll use FTP mode. And then we'll go ahead and switch to the computer. Now over on your computer, you're going to need to bring up this website. It's enso.hinkaku.xyz. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So this is the official page where you can download Hinkaku Enso. So on this screen you see this icon, you're going to need to click it and then download the enso.vpk file. So next thing we need to do is send the file to the computer. So here's my enso.vpk file um, and I've connected to my PSTV using FileZilla FTP client. So what we need to do here is browse to UXO and then the data folder and this is where we need to transfer the enso.vpk file. So with that done we can close the FTP software and switch back to the Vita. Okay so back on the Vita push circle to bring Vita shell back to the main menu and find your data folder and look for enso.vpk and just push X to install it and give it extended permissions. Great, so there's Enso installed. So now we should be able to find it on our main menu somewhere. So look for the Enso icon and we'll go ahead and run it now to actually install the Hinkaku Enso exploit. Okay, so it's saying my Hinkaku version is too old. So I'll need to update my version of Hinkaku first by visiting the website. So in order to first update my Hinkaku to the latest version, I'll just go ahead and start the Vita's browser. And we'll browse to the main hinkaku.xyz website. And so from here, I'll just click the orange install button and go ahead and install. Great, so Hinkaku is now downloading the latest versions of the files. Perfect, so now that my Hinkaku is all up to date, I'll try running the Enso installer again. So it's just giving a warning now that this will permanently modify your system. And then press circle to accept these terms and install Enso. So I'll go ahead and push circle. Okay, so now on this screen, cross will install or reinstall the hack, triangle will uninstall the hack, square will fix your boot config, choose that if Taihen isn't loading on boot, and circle will exit without doing anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and push cross to install Enso. It just says the installation's completed successfully, press any key to reboot. So we'll go ahead and reboot now, and let's watch what happens. So it looked pretty normal, but if we go ahead and start up Vita Shell now, you guys can see that I'm able to launch Homebrew just as soon as I powered on my system. 
I didn't have to run Hikaku manually and I'm now able to run homebrew and beta backups without issue. So it's a great improvement to the system and one of the best releases for the beta scene this year for sure. If you ever need to uninstall Enso from your devices, there is a way to do that as well. I'll leave a link in the description talking about how to uninstall Enso from your devices should you ever want to. So there's a brief video talking about Hinkaku Enso and why you should install it. My next Vita upload is going to be talking about the SD to Vita adapters. Since mine just arrived in the mail, I'm now able to talk about how you can get micro SD cards inserted into your Vita for storage purposes. Very cool. So that covers things for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Have a good one. Peace.